My name is Zoe Gaylord and I'm a sixth grader at Southwood Elementary School. Today I'm interviewing Allison Pershing, who is a nurse at Parkview Wabash Hospital. Where do you work and how long have you been working there? I work in the emergency department and I've worked for Parkview for 19 years. How? What are your job duties there? Well, I'm the manager in the emergency department, um, so I um, help the staff take care of patients, and I also take care of patients too when it gets busy. So I round on patients and make sure they're being well taken care of. What training or education did you, did you receive to do this job? Well, I went to college. I uh, received an associate degree first, and then a bachelor's degree, and I'm finishing my master's degree right now. How did you pay for your training? Well, the first degree, uh, I had to work to pay for it, so I painted and hung wallpaper and that kind of thing to pay for my college. Um, I know that um, Promise scholarships are available now, and uh, so I definitely recommend everyone doing that because uh, you would have to paint a lot less if you had some scholarship money uh, to work with. Um, I also received student loans for uh, my second and third degree, and the hospital um, has helped reimburse and pay those back. Um. What is the best part of your job and the hardest part of your job? The best part of my job is taking care of patients and um, it's really, uh, it makes you feel really good when they're well taken care of and they're happy with their care. And probably the most frustrating part of my job is when patients aren't grateful for their care. What tools or equipment do you use on your job? Um, we use all kinds of technology um, on the job. So we have computer-based charting, so just like the computers you use in your classroom. Um, we have special lights uh, that we can put on people's arms to light up their veins. So when we're drawing blood or putting an IV in, uh, we have a special machine like a, um, like a telehealth machine where we have a stethoscope that we can put on a patient's chest and um, the cardiologist in Fort Wayne can actually hear the heart tones and listen to the lung sounds. Um, we do FaceTime um, with, certain, <laughs> with certain doctors, uh, specialists that are an hour away where they might need to see a patient uh, quickly. So we do stuff like that. So lots of different technology, lots That's of neat really stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, when were you a student? Um, and what was your favorite class? Um, I always liked English, so I liked reading, and uh, I always enjoyed like English and phonics and that kind of thing. Um, as a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I always wanted to be a nurse. From the time I was third grade on, I always knew I wanted to be a nurse, and I never changed my mind. And I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> What advice do you have for a student who wants to like, do your job? I say go ahead and do it. You'll never be sorry a day in your life for being a nurse. Um, and then, um, what, like, have you ever had to overcome anything? Like, like being afraid of anything? Yeah, um, I think one of the things that, I, that, that comes to my mind is when I did clinicals, when I was just going into college, um, I did a clinical in surgery and I almost passed out one time, <laughs> but I actually later on went on and worked in surgery for a couple years, but I think it was the mask over my face, so I had to learn how to breathe with a mask over my face. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it was kind of hard, so yeah, once I got used to that, then it was no big deal. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for answering my questions about your career. I really enjoyed learning about it and I think others will too. Thank you.